Hello everyone, in this video we will look at the appointment based chatbot offered by Watermate. If you are a business that offers appointments for your customers and accept payments for those appointments from your customers, you could use our chatbot to automate that on a familiar channel for your customers like WhatsApp. Let's just dive into the demo. I as a customer message your business on this number. The chatbot would actually kick in and it would present me with a list of options that I've set up as a business for your customers. Here I'm presented with the options like business details, book an appointment, view my appointments, view operating hours and talk to our staff. These are options that are offered by the default template. Obviously, if you would like to customize all of these options, you always have the option to do so within our platform as well. When you choose business details of your operating hours, it will just display the information like address and the operating hours. All of these can be set up within our platform. For this demo, let's look at book appointment, which is the most important thing for us. So here I'm selecting the option book an appointment. It's asking me to select a staff and here I'm presented with a couple of staffs within the business and these are information that I, have set, I can set up and modify within our platform as well. Once I select the staff, it will present me with the list of services that are available um, that are provided by that particular staff as such and I can select a particular service that I'm comfortable with and it will ask me to select the date that I want to book an appointment on. So here I'm going to select 5th of May because that's when I want to book an appointment. You don't have to select the date from the option if you would like to type a date um, like far away next month or so, you always have the option to do so as well. Since it's a weekend, um, the staff is not available on the 5th of March so I have to select an alternate. I'm going to select 7th of March, hopefully the staff is available on that date. And all of these availability you can customize within our platform for your staffs as such. And it presents me with the list of time slots that are available on that day for that particular staff as such. And if I wish to load more slots on that particular day, I can select this option, but I'm just going to select it. And the next thing that I have to do is select a customer. If I am an existing customer with the business, um, it will display the list of registered customers on this number. If I am interacting with your business for the first time, I will have to register a new customer with the business as well. I'm just going to select the existing customer and it asks me to add any comments that the staff might, might need to be aware of before the appointment. In this instance, I don't have anything, so I'm just going to back in. It's just asking me for the confirmation of the details that I've been through so far. So I'm happy with these details, I'm just going to click on confirm. The next thing that it does is it prompts me to make the payment, and uh, the slot will be blocked for me until 10 minutes. If I don't make the payment within the 10 minutes, the slot will be released for other people. So I'm just going to click on this one and go to the payment link and we offer this payment link for all our businesses and uh, this payment link is completely customizable based on your brand. In this instance, I've set up my brand and I, as you can see, it's my logo that's coming up. Since it's a staging environment, I'm just going to type in a staging card. Expiration and make the payment. As I complete the payment, um, it will confirm the appointment slot as well and it will send me the confirmation message too. And if I wish to view the appointments that are booked on um, this account, I always can type in the menu option directly, view my appointments. And I just have to select a customer. The reason why we've got the list of customers is, um, let's say you um, want to book an appointment for your kid or your parent or grandparent um, and um, this option allows you to register multiple customers on the same number as such and that's why we've got a list. 
so here uh, it shows me the appointments that I've got coming. So we booked, we just booked uh, an appointment of on 7th of March. I'm just going to select this option. Uh, as I select the appointment, it will prompt me whether I want to cancel the appointment. If I don't wish to cancel the appointment, I can select no. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to click on cancel. As soon as I clicked on the S, um, it, it just cancelled and gave me the confirmation as well. Um, you as a business can decide the next steps of refunding the amount that the customer had paid within the platform or through the payment gateway as well. And you as a customer would like to talk to the staff, understand something about um, the business, you always have the option to talk to the staff. Here I have the option to talk to our staff. If you know the menu option, you can type in directly as well. So I'm going to select this option. What this will do is this will notify the agents that are registered with, with the business to respond to your query. And it will also move the chat to the unassigned queue as well. Um, so when there is a chat on the unassigned queue, that means it's something that requires action. Um, and you as an agent, you can directly uh, respond and assign it to yourself. Or if you'd like to assign to somebody else, you can always choose this option to do so as well. So here, I'm just going to type in the how can I have you today? And this will send the message to the customer and also move my chat to the open um, and assign the chat to myself as well. So in the instance, I've served the customer um, and I want to, I want the chat bot to kick in again. I, or I can close the chat and this will trigger the chat bot every time the customer messages. So long as this is in the open or unassigned requires human interaction, the chat bot won't be triggered as such. So I'm just going to close the chat and it's it's done. The next time the, the customer messages, the chat board will be triggered as well. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to learn more about our platform or sign up for a trial account, um, please look at the link in the description and sign up for a trial account. Uh, if you'd like to um, know more about our platform, subscribe to our channel and watch all our videos.